Hello. Today we're going to talk about the Axminster SU-1 Universal Milling Machine. A milling machine that can be used as a horizontal machine or with a conversion, a vertical machine. This machine, a great addition to any workshop, particularly good at cutting gears, splines and keyways on shafts. It also gives you the facility to use it as a normal vertical machine with all the features of a standard machine. Our first setup is going to be using the milling machine in the horizontal operation. To do this, we're going to take off the overarm support, fit a cutter, put the cutter onto the arbor, set everything up and cut a piece of material and put a slot in it. To take the overarm support off, one simple clamp, then we unscrew the arbor clamping nut and take off the appropriate arbor collars. The arbor, 20 millimetres, a standard sized arbor, ready to put our milling cutter on. And this cutter could be any shape you wish. It could be a gear cutter, or in this case, a side and face cutter. The cutter goes on the arbor, up against the arbor collars, we replace everything and refit the arbor clamp nut. We then replace the arbor support before tightening the nut up. The arbor support slides on into the appropriate position. We clamp it against the over overarm, then we're ready to tighten the cutter onto the arbor. One spanner and one lock key, and we tighten the nut. So, we're ready now to set the machine up and cut some metal. On this machine, we've already got the vise fitted to the machine table with a nice piece of material already in with one slot in, and we're going to replicate that slot on our second operation. So, just like a normal milling machine, We've got the same controls, the controls to move this, the table left and right, the rise and fall of the knee, and in and out of the cross slide. So it's a quick look, where's the cutter in relationship to the workpiece, and that's where our first slot is going to be. We then go through the procedure of starting the cutter up and touching the cutter onto the top of the workpiece. Like all Axminster machines, emergency stop button, underneath the start and stop button, and also the speed control knob. Power on, starting the cutter and we can select the appropriate speed. Now we're going to move the workpiece up against the cutter using the knee control. You can see the workpiece coming up against the cutter and all of a sudden we're going to make contact with the periphery of the cutter. In this case, we're going to start from the left hand side of the workpiece and we're going to set the depth of cut. In this case, it's going to be two turns of the hand wheel. Clamp the knee into the correct position clamp the cross slide, then we're ready to go, moving the table to the left, the workpiece, then coming into contact with the cutter, and you can see the spore flying off towards the right hand side of the machine.
In this case, we're using a piece of aluminium, but this machine is capable of cutting all types of material, steels, stainless steels, brass, nylon, you name it, it will cut it. And you see we've passed the cutter right across the workpiece. We're going to stop and examine the slot we've produced. Now we're going to convert our horizontal machine to a vertical one. A nice simple operation. We move the overarm to the rear, put the conversion bracket onto the end of the overarm, then remove the drive system from the rear of the machine into the vertical position. At first, we undo the arbor clamping nut, then remove the arbor support. Now we can remove the cutter off of the arbor, or we can remove the arbor and cutter as one complete assembly. milling machine, number three Morse taper, a universal taper on all of our machines with a 10 millimeter drawbar thread. We can now move the overarm back to its rear position ready for the vertical milling head adapter to go on. We can now fit the vertical milling head attachment. It fits into the overarm with one simple clamp mechanism. Now we can remove the drive from the rear of the machine It slides out of the main casting We'd replace it into, into the vertical support bracket. Now we're going to use a milling machine in the vertical operation. The head of the machine can be tilted at any angle we require, right over one way and the other. And in this case, we're going to set the head to 45 degrees. The head is then clamped to the overarm with one simple clamp. And now we're ready to fit the cutter into the machine spindle. In this case, we're using the ER cutter collet system using a solid carbide end milling cutter. The arbor is fitted to the machine spindle using a number three Morse taper and a drawbar. And tightened in place. We are now ready to position the workpiece in relationship to the cutter. Using the table Moving to the left and using the knee to align the workpiece in the vertical orientation. We are now ready to put our 45 degree angle on the workpiece. We ensure that the clamps are locked in the vertical and the table planes. 
we now start the cutter. Selecting the correct cutter speed. We now move the workpiece against the cutter. So there you have it, the Axminster SU-1 Universal Milling Machine, shown here in vertical and horizontal modes. If you'd like any more information or would like to use this machine, why not book up on one of our gear cutting courses.